Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the things that, well, not some of the things, all of the things that I picked up in Toronto on my recent trip there about a month than a half ago. So if you'd like to see what I picked up in Toronto on my little spontaneous vacation, then keep watching. So the first thing I picked up was in our very first stop, the Ripley's Aquarium, right next to the CN Tower. In the gift shop, I picked up these two little frames to put in our new odd suite because we wanted to do kind of like a beachy theme. And I was having trouble finding something that had that rustic, shabby chic beach house look that I wanted. So when my boyfriend saw these and pointed them out to me, I decided I really loved them and I was gonna buy them. They were $24.99 each, so it was like $65 for these, which is crazy, but I mean, I guess it's Ripley's Aquarium. They're gonna up price everything, but yeah, those are super pretty. I cannot wait to put those up. Then I only picked up one thing in MAC. I had a look around. The store was kind of crowded and really tiny, and it was kind of towards the end of the Eaton Center trip, and we were both getting kind of tired, not gonna lie. Sorry, boyfriend, for dragging you there for six hours. Um, So I picked up one blush, and this is a shade that I have heard of before, but I never thought about owning it myself. It is called um, Breath of Plum, and it's this really like dark, dusty rose color. I'm wearing it today, not sure if you can see it, um, but I absolutely love this blush. MAC blushes are so solid. I totally recommend these as something to like invest in. Because I mean, blush is something you could have in your collection for such a long time. Compared to other high-end blushes, they're really not that expensive, so I highly recommend them. The other main beauty item that I purchased on this trip was a repurchase. I recently bought a full size back in New York in November, uh, so I picked up a new tube because I ran out, actually, funny enough, in perfect timing, I ran out of it the day that I bought it. So this is the Kiehl's Micro Blur Skin Perfector. It's a pore filling product, a lot like Benefit's Poreflexional. The Benefit one tends to break me out, this one doesn't. And I find it also helps my primer keep my foundation on and everything. So I really like this, it's expensive, but it's really good. So I went ahead and picked that up in Kiehl's. And the guy who rang me in at the counter gave me three samples, the Ultra Facial Oil Free Toner, the Matching Cleanser, and the Hydro Plumping Retexturizing serum concentrate. So I'm going to try those and I guess I'll let you know in a future empties video whether they were good or not. I only picked up one real like touristy item and that was a fridge magnet because as you guys know from my New York haul we were in desperate need of fridge magnets and I don't know I like buying magnets when I travel so I picked up a CN Tower one looks like this it was like six or seven bucks I don't know. It's cool. Then moving into the fashion items, I did pick up one piece of jewelry from Kate Spade. Um, it's essentially a smaller stud earring than the ones I bought in New York. These are a bit more of an everyday earring. It's a circular rhinestone with three little teeth that hold it in place. Over the top of the silver rhinestone, they have this speckled like opaly paint job to it and it's absolutely stunning. I really love these so I'm really glad I picked those up. They were kind of like a spur of the moment impulse item but I'm glad I got them because they're really nice. And now we're gonna move into clothing. I bought one thing in H&M even though I searched like three floors of clothes and it was $14.99 I think or $15.99. This is just a like A-line really casual strappy dress. So the top looks like that. It is white with pink and red roses on it. And it just has that classic A-line skirt. It's a very summery dress. Uh, the problem is it's very revealing in the front and it is really short. So I never really got to wear it to work like I was kind of hoping to, but anyway. And I also went into a Eerie, which if you're not familiar, is more of the sleepwear, underwear, loungewear, company of American Eagle Outfitters. This is one of their super soft crew neck t-shirts. I absolutely love this t-shirt. I've been wearing it like crazy. It's super comfortable. And then I also got a pair of summer PJs. So the bottoms look like this. They are super thin material, so they're really lightweight, perfect for those really hot summer days that we've been having all summer. And I also got a ribbed um, super soft tank top to go with it. So that's what I picked up at 8 Eerie. Now I'm going to show you a t-shirt that I absolutely love from Aritzia. It's so extra. Like, this place is has really like trendy, nice clothes, but it's really expensive. I went in there looking for like those bucket pants, you know, the ones that like tie at the waist and then they're, they're flowy and sometimes they cut off at the ankles. 
I went in there looking for those and I randomly found this t-shirt and I thought, screw it, I'm gonna try it on, it looks cute. Um, and then I looked at the price tag after I already tried it on, of course, and I had to buy it. This was really expensive, please don't judge me, even though you're probably going to judge me. This was $40. <laughs> so it's a white t-shirt with a palm tree embroidered on it in black and it's just so simple and so basic I know um, but I absolutely love it the fit is great the material is super soft and breathable and comfortable um, so my plan is to take very good care of that shirt <laughs> but yeah I really love it so I am glad I picked it up because I think I would have missed it if I didn't and then I got two shirts at Zara um, I went to two or three different Zara stores. There was one up the street from my ho my Airbnb, and there was one in the Eaton Center too. I checked both, and I found these at the ones on uh, Bloor Street, which is closer to the Airbnb. Um, so the first shirt I found, I didn't even actually try this on. I just found it on the rack after I came out of the change room, and the wait for the change room was like 10 minutes long in the lineup, so I wasn't getting back in that line. So I found this on a hanger, and I brought it home without even trying it on. So this is a shorter, almost cropped t-shirt, but it has this really uh, preppy neck detail. It's kind of like, I don't know what you call this. Is it is it tweed? I'm not sure. It's got like a gold metallic embroidery going through it, but then it's got that fringy, rough like material there. And then there's pearls on top of that. And it held up really well in the washer, thank God. I've washed this twice or three times already and it's fully intact just turn it inside out and air dry it um and i do say it's cropped but it's not like showing your stomach cropped if you wear like high-waisted leggings with this and this shirt over it you don't see any of your stomach but it is generally a shorter cut t-shirt but yeah i really love this i think it was 27.99 so it really wasn't bad in price the other one i got i kind of regret getting this to be quite honest. I was drawn to the color more than the fabric. Um, so this is like a super bright corally pink t-shirt in this really like silky synthetic material. It's, it's not cotton. The problem is every single bra shows through underneath this. Like I'm always seeing those bra lines no matter what bra I wear with this. So I'm getting kind of frustrated. I don't know how to style it. It's driving me crazy. It's viscose, I think. Yeah, it's 100% viscose, if that's how you pronounce it. So it's that super slippery material. Um, it's comfortable. The fit is pretty nice. The sleeves are really tight fit. But yeah, I just, I just bought it because of the color, really, because I wear so much white t-shirts that I wanted something a different color. Um, but I'm having a hard time figuring out what to wear underneath this or even just how to style it. I think I'm just gonna have to wait till fall and winter when I can wear like a cardigan over it or something or a blazer or a denim jacket. I don't know, like for summer when I'm just not wearing a lot of outerwear over it, it's gonna have to wait. So yeah, that's that shirt. I mean, I really like it, but I'm having a hard time styling it. If you have any ideas, please let me know. <laughs> and then the last clothing item I have here to show you was actually picked up by my boyfriend before I got there. He was in the Blue Jays gift shop trying to find a specific jersey for himself, and then he saw this t-shirt and he thought of me. So he picked this up for me. It's a unisex um, Blue Jays t-shirt. This is just the classic players ones. So on the back it has Pilar, because he knows it. My favorite is Kevin Pilar, basically because he's hot. He's a good looking dude, okay? So <laughs> he got me that shirt, so I wear that around the house too, especially if there's games on. So yeah, that was kind of a quick little haul there, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I posted a Twitter poll like last night, no, two days ago, and a lot of people said they wanted to see a Toronto haul, so there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and my hauls because I love filming hauls because I love shopping and, and yeah. We're getting close to having everything for the giveaway so make sure if you aren't subscribed to me already hit that subscribe button down below and the little notification bell so you don't miss my future videos and that way you won't miss the giveaway and um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye!